Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS movie review. Today, we're bringing you a movie that I have been waiting for months to see. And I mean months to see. This film dropped, I want to say, hmm, I want to say maybe in July? June or July it dropped. It came out June or July. And that's when everything was crazy, still still crazy going over the world and i was in no way shape or fashion going to look for a movie theater to see this movie go to a movie theater to see this movie no screenings uh to my knowledge was ever dropped for this movie but i really really wanted to check this movie out so we are bringing you our finally our review for unhinge starring karen Bistorius. i hope i'm saying your name right russell crowe and gabriel bateman hmm <laughs> So let's give you a quick synopsis and then we'll jump right into this review. After a confrontation with an unstable man at an intersection, a woman becomes a target of his rage. Now, it's been a while since we've seen Russell Crowe be Russell Crowe in a film. And what I mean by that is just be over the top. If anyone knows anything about Russell's work, um, He's at his best when he, he goes completely over the top, even in subtle ways of going over the top when you get the gladiators or the nice guys or anything of that nature. He's been kind of subdued. I want to say since probably Les Mis, he's, he was subdued and Les Mis was really, really bad. Bunch of bad singing in that movie. But here, like, we get introduced to his character at the beginning of the film committing a horrendous act. We're not told anything else about this character. We're not explained anything about this character. We just see him do a horrible act. And after that, we see Karen's character with her son. And they are just starting their day. We see she has little issues going on with her son's father, with her brother, with her sister-in-law. But they truly don't give us backstory on the characters. And that's what really kind of makes this more intriguing is that you don't get the unnecessary backstory on each character here before we get the huge conversation with these two over something as minor, minor as blowing your horn at somebody. And I'm this is spoiler free, so I'm not giving out anything away because that's just how the movie starts, really. Uh, as minor as blowing your horn aggressively towards somebody. And then Russell Crowe goes off and does Russell Crowe things for the remainder of this stupidly crazy insanely entertaining ride of a film um before i can if you've seen holly burry's last film when she was um a mom and she had a station uh minivan and she was chasing after someone who kidnapped her son and how that kept you engrossed the whole time that's kind of what happens with unhinged in a sense of keeping you engrossed not the storyline just the the keeping you intrigued in the whole film and everything that goes on but quickly, let me talk about uh, the direction of this film is great. I mean, absolutely stupendous because this is a silly concept and an extremely silly film. But the director manages to just keep up the momentum, notch up the tension in his film. The way he shoots it with, at times, the close angles, the far away things, just everything he does is clearly to build more and more and more suspense in this film. And it works beautifully for majority of this movie. Just the back and forth between the two actors and the way he's managing just to capture the tension in the eyes of Karen's character. The entire film really works and it really works wonders. Um, as for the score of the film, it's simple. Nothing stands out here to me. Cinematography, same exact thing. Nothing overly stands out to me here. But it's just the direction with the shots that really, really works here. And just ramping up everything and allowing Russell Crowe to be Russell Crowe. And this basically telling him, have fun. Like, this is not a serious movie in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It is something that makes you think at the end of it all, which is just possibly being nicer to people. Is something you should do to avoid a possible situation like this. I mean, road rage is real. And you never know what can trigger someone to doing things that Russell Crowe's character does in this film. But the whole time it works. And it works extremely well here 
for just hyping up the tension and watching how he systematically destroys all her relationships with people. It it really works off of that sense. Again, but this is a superly crazy, superly silly movie. This is an escapism type of film. This is nothing overly serious. If you saw Changing Lanes with um, Ben Affleck and I want to say Samuel Jackson or Lakeview Terrace with Samuel Jackson. Wow, Samuel Jackson has a lot of movies that really fits the motif of this one. But if you saw those two films, you can, or the Holly Berry film, I think that one's named Drive. Things of that nature, you kind of know what you're in for. This is a, a, a true suspense thriller. That's all it is. It is straight up and down. I'm clearly not going to give you too much of the plot, but just know, woman rude, man overreacts, man tries to destroy her life. That's the movie. It's really simple here. <laughs> really, really simple. So, um, Unhinged, uh, Unhinged, <laughs> starring Russell Crowe, out of a possible 10, I'm giving this movie a 7.5 out of 10 just solely based on the silliness of the concept this movie will keep you interested from start to finish if you don't nitpick it too much if you don't un if you don't overly pay attention to its huge gaping flaws like the story is not the best in the world the plot is not the best but the pacing is great and it keeps you intrigued the third act is shaky at best i think once we get out of the realm of what makes this movie work and the third act tries to go to the next level. And when you try to go to that next level, you lose a lot of the magic that was in the first two acts of this film. So while the third act is definitely a letdown, the first two acts are strong enough for this type of genre of film that it should keep you interested throughout the entire film. And you'll overlook again the silliness of the third act. But please check it out whenever you can. This has been another JVS movie review of Un. Hinge. It is currently available on all VOD platforms, so please check it out. Let us know what you think of this movie and if you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it. Peace, people.